right, we're good. Hi. Hey, what's up? What's up? Hey, what's friends. Up? Wow, that was a little, <laughs> a little aggressive. What's up? <laughs> welcome, welcome to the stream. <laughs> I'm done. That's it. It's a wrap. <laughs> I'm already over it. Every time. <laughs> so hi everyone. Welcome. Hi everyone. Hi friends. Hi. Hey, uh. <laughs> Look, we should start over. Yeah, we say that every time. I don't right. know. We were really welcome. good. <laughs> we were good. I thought we were going to be good. No, we're not good. All right, so welcome to Needles at the Ready podcast. I'm Kevin. I'm Ray. <laughs> this is Saturday, March 21st. This is episode six. We're coming to you from Connecticut. Don't forget the camera's on this side of the okay. street. It's fine. <laughs> so we're just going to. Gonna, I'm, what's else is new? I just look around. Oh, aimlessly Jesus. Anyway. All right, so we're coming to you from Stratford, Connecticut. Yeah. This is a knitting podcast. Sure is. With some crochet thrown yep. in. A little bit. You know, some yarn and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, so yes. welcome. Totally. Um, welcome back. For welcome those back of you to. Who have been subscribers of ours. Welcome, new people. If this is your first time. New viewers. New viewers. Returning viewers. Yeah. Welcome back. Yeah. Hope everybody had a good two weeks, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it's been a. It's, <laughs> it's been, been two weeks, it's huh? It's been two weeks. Yeah, it's definitely been a, a couple of weeks. How have your two weeks been? Uh, very stressful. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so, you know, we're going to keep this obviously very light and and positive, but obviously with what's going on in the world right now, it's um, kind of on everybody's minds. I'm going to have to take this off soon because it's starting to slide down. So, yeah, let's... So, um, we can talk about um, what's... This will go into, like, what's been going on. For you guys who follow me on Instagram, um, you probably already know I work in healthcare. I'm a registered nurse. Um, I work in a hospital, so I had to shave off my beard. So this is something that I whipped together the other day. I think it looks pretty good, actually. It does. Yeah. Um, so, um, so yeah, so I had to shave off my beard just in case so that we can be ready um, in case I needed to wear a respirator or anything to start taking care of some of these patients. Um, but this is kind of fun. Um, this is a pattern. Oh, I should probably, I wrote it all down, but I, I wasn't ready. You hit record a little bit too soon. I think. This is called the Bobble Beard. What? Oh, I think you say, always make fun of me. I was going to say that those look like bobbles. They are bobbles. That's why they look like Oh, that. look at that. A Bobble yeah. Beard. So this is a Bobble Beard by uh, Ashley Marie. Um, job, you can Ashley. get a link to this pattern on Ravelry. She's got a bunch of different sizes. It's falling down now. Um, so I'm just going to take this off. Yeah. Take yeah. So um, it's, a, it's a bunch of um, bobble stitches together. Um... This pattern comes in a bunch of different sizes. Some of the ones... Oh, this is what I look like without a beard, for those of you who don't know. Um, come in a bunch of different sizes. The kids um, to, like, babies. Some of the babies are, look friggin' adorable in these. Um, the way that the pattern is written is she has this where you can sew it into, like, a hat, like the bottom of a hat. Um, and it's actually practical as well as, like, really cute and funny. I'm looking over here for the camera. I know. Yeah. I, I think, you know what? I'm just going to look at myself. Yeah. Maybe we should make like a little sticky note that says camera here. <laughs> no. Like, look here. <laughs> um, that will help me. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, so, but functional because it also like will warm, you know, warm your kid's face too. So you don't have to wear like a little, you know, scarf over their face or whatever. I think it's really kind of clever. Um, really cute. This yarn is... Um, it's from... Nicole, oh shoot! Wait, oh, oh st uh, Stitch Studio by Nicole. Um, That's from I Michaels. I believe I got it from Michaels. Yeah, it's a Michael's really long time ago. I've had this yarn for a while. I thought it was the color was like perfect, <clears throat> and then with like this the uh, like tweed, it's, like tweedy. Yeah. Um, it's actually really soft. It feels really good on my face. That's the yarn that when I had crocheted the pumpkins that I used for the stems. Oh, for the stems. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, yeah, Kevin, you do some crochet. I, that's like. The, the yeah. minimum. Reese has them all now, though. I think um, Reese has all three. This is in the chocolate color. I thought I had it, like... Um, it's it's back there yeah. somewhere. Um, this is in the chocolate color. I thought it was kind of cute. I thought it was really funny. I was kind of going through... It was a lot. So, like, the beard is relatively new. I just started growing the beard in December, like, December 20th, I think. Yeah. And I wanted to kind of see what it was, because I've never gone more than, like, three days without shaving. And I started really liking it, and it was growing in really nice, and um, so I was kind of depressed when I had to shave it off. But you got to do what you got to do. Um, but I thought this was kind of funny um, to add to it. So I, what I ended up doing was I I just made a crochet chain 
Um, I, for those of you, it's not in the pattern, but if you're interested, um, I just, I followed the row all the way over here. Instead of binding off, I just um, chained, I think I chained 22, and then I hooked it into the second row um, here, and then like weaved in my stitches uh, along this end. And then I picked it up again on the other side um, again, 22 and it fits like you just kind of wrap it. I have like those like really pointed ears for some reason. So it fits me really well. So you might have to adjust accordingly, but I think it's really funny. Um, you can kind of do a lot with this. What um, else are you going to do with it? No, like you can add like, you know, strive oh yarns you add, hanging down. No, you, know, or you, like, you could add Christmas ornaments to it for the, for that's holidays. That's a great idea. Great idea. Holiday card. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> so it's good. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Um, All right, now I feel a little bit better. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So what else for the last two weeks? So obviously um, Rona's out there. Who? The Rona. The Rona? Corona virus. Oh, the Rona. That's inconsiderate. Why? I don't know. I mean, I know. It's like in everybody's face. It's, a, sure. it's everywhere. So mm -hmm. so obviously we don't want to spend a lot of time talking about it. Um, just like kind of how it affected us. So now um, I'm working from home. I just started working from home on Thursday. Yeah. So I will be working from home for the foreseeable future. I think somewhere probably at least two to four weeks I'll be home. And then we just got the notice last night, I want to say, when we were home. Uh, around like 3 o'clock yesterday. Our, what is it, Governor, Mayor? Governor. Governor has made the call that all non-essential businesses need to close by 8 p.m. Monday night. Mm -hmm. So we're going to venture out tomorrow to do our grocery shopping, hit up. Home Depot. Yeah. So we just could get some stuff because we don't know how long we're really going to be stuck in the house. And, right. you know, I think one of the most important things right now for everybody is to try to keep a normal um, routine. Yeah. Like for me, staying home, and I've worked from home before, it's really important for me to get up in the morning and do exactly what I would do. Get a workout in, jump in the shower, shave, you know, brush my teeth, put deodorant on, like do that. And I get into my pajamas. Or my sweats, but I think you have to do that. You have to keep a really kind of normal, routine. normal routine that you can. Yeah. Um, you know, when it's I'm working... It's easier for us as, like, knitters, crocheters, crafters, like... I mean, we've... Like, there's those memes going around, like, we've been training for this for, like, our whole lives, you know? We're okay staying at home, but it does get to you. And for all of you out there who have to homeschool your kids, in oh, addition to all of the other things that you have to, like, maintain... Um, hats off for sure because that's got to be very difficult. Um, so oh, there's a oh, it's our first, our first little like, ladybug. Ladybug, she's yeah. crawling on the um curtain. She's good luck, right? Yeah. Um. So, but it, with all of this going on, there's some really awesome things going on with the community. Well, before we go yeah. there, one of the other things I saw going around, and so this is something I think that is important too. We were kind of talking about it when I was at work while working from home yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I saw this post. I thought about this, but then I saw a post that kind of reflected the same way that I was thinking. It's um to not worry about the things out of your control. So worry about what you have control over. So that's like anything that you're doing in your house. Like don't worry about... My dad used to tell me that. He started telling me that probably when I was about 16. Um, to worry about what I have control over. If I don't have control over it, don't spend so much time worrying about it because worrying about it's not going to change it. You can't change it. So mm -hmm. you really have to focus on the things that you have control over. Stay focused on those and take care of that. And all that outside stuff, if, I mean, worrying about it, it's not going to change it. Uh, obviously, it's affecting us. But I think if we really just worry about what we can control mm -hmm. and stay focused on those things, that's going to help a lot. Yeah, that was pretty deep. Well, no, I, I, yeah. I literally, I took, I actually took a screenshot of the post that I saw on, I want to say I saw it on both Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. And it was, lit I mean, it, everything was about this right now, but it, it's just good advice in general. No, it but is. with this, it was like, you know, control, like you can control how much you look at social media. You can control how much you watch the news. You can control your positive mindset. Mm -hmm. You can control, you know, being at home with your kids, play, spending time with your kids, your family. You can FaceTime with people. So those are the things that you can focus on and do. And the rest of it, like, I mean, I can't control that California shut down for 30 days. Yeah. Why am I going to worry about that? Yeah. So no, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Um, um, but, but I will just quickly also on the keep on the serious theme and then we can like move on. Yeah, then we'll get over serious. Um, 
as a healthcare worker, um, I am really asking that everybody please um, take this um, like social distancing and isolation seriously. Just do your part. Um, you know, stay home if you don't have to go anywhere to pick up groceries or anything like that. Just do your part because um, we need people to stay healthy um, to take care of the people that are sick. Um, and so that's all I got to say about that. Okay, so let's okay. lighten the mood. That's it. So, but with this, there's... Is anybody a... still there? Because I'm sorry if we scared anybody away. No. I didn't even want it to get so serious. Your mom's watching, so we're good. Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay, hi, Mom. <laughs> so... Good. But with this, it's actually brought together, which is really cool, but yeah, cool. Everybody's coming out and doing their own part. Like, yeah. you have musicians putting on free concerts, you have actors and actresses and, you know, celebrities reading stories to kids, mm -hmm. um... But here in our community, uh, you've had people like doing discounts yeah. on their products, um, you know, even like free shipping or free patterns. So we have done, what do we do? Oh, I downloaded some free patterns. Yeah. So look for today. I think Quince and Company has a little six pattern mini book available. It's called like The Stripes. Yeah, the so, stripes. Simple, simple stripes or stripes. Or uh, yeah, simple stripes or mm -hmm. something like that. So if you go to their website, check them out on Instagram. They have all the information on their Instagram account. And I believe it's free for a week. It's normally a $7 set of patterns. So they're doing that for free. Um, I don't know if Cozy Up Knits, the sisters, still have two patterns that they were doing for free. It was um, one Christie's Christy Shaw and... The, um, I'm going to look. Okay. You talk. I'm so gonna... in addition to those people like releasing patterns and stuff, um, obviously all these fiber festivals and events and, and whatnot have been um, postponed or canceled. So um, there are a lot of indie dyers and independent businesses and makers that are out these really large um, events, yeah. you know, where they, they depend on for some income. And the community has stepped up huge um, with, you know, anything that they can do to help um, help them. Um, there was a website that we'll link um, down below um, when we put our show notes up. Did you like that? No. You, so what? We, we were talking right before we started. So I've been very conscious of Did not, I say um like 17,000 times? Of not saying um. Did so I? So I'm trying really hard. So he was like, oh, I don't know. Do you think I say um a lot? And you... Literally just said it like 10 times in a row. Wow. Well, I'm going to be a little bit more conscious of no, that. No, no, it's fine. But it was really funny because you, you, we had this conversation. We've been recording for 13 minutes. We probably had an 18 Oh, my gosh. Ago. All right. So, anyway, there's a website called <laughs> nitty.com backslash SOS. And it's a list of um, shows and vendors. Did I, I know. Stop it. Everybody now is going to be like... Every time you say I'm probably going to lose it. But please so continue. it's a list of <laughs> shows and vendors. I can't help it now. Who are have been negatively impacted by this. And um, maybe we should just frog no, this entire can podcast. We, can I'm done. How's everybody else doing out there? Anyway, it, it's a really good thing. It's a list of all the uh, shows and events that have been canceled and a list of all the dyers who were supposed to, and, um, and, and, and makers and stuff out there who were going to be at these places so that you can support them still, see a list of, of the shops and whatnot, and go ahead and visit that and make some purchases. And so that's what Kevin and I are going to doing because yeah. Stitches United was canceled. So we're going to go through the vendor list, and we've already uh, made a purchase from um, Barnyard Knits. They weren't a vendor there, though. They weren't, but I but believe they, they were sales. impacted, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And um, she had, a, um, I think it's a she had a sale. So we and I've been following Barnyard Knits on Instagram for years now, and love the colorways, and just I never made a purchase. So. What we're going to do is we're going to, the budget that we had set for Stitches United, we're going to find some indie dyers with the, the exception, the only place we may buy from too is Brooklyn Tweed, just because they have that cool thing where it's like, pay what you can, yeah. and the proceeds, you can choose the uh, local yarn store if you go to them, and 
I believe the funds go to the yarn store. So our our local yarn store, Net New Haven, carries Brooklyn Tweed. That's where I get all my Brooklyn Tweed from. So that's something that we're thinking about doing. We haven't made a decision, but, um, you know, we still want to make a purchase from Savvy Skeins. He said, I just, um, did you hear? I think I drew it out, though. Uh, I said, uh. Um, no, I said, uh. Okay. <laughs> so Savvy Skeins is one that we're going to look at. Yeah. Um, and who else? I don't know. I don't know who else that we were. Oh, Leading Men Fiber Arts right. was going to be at Stitches United, as well as Molly Girl Yarn. Molly Girl Yarn, we've both knit with before. She's out of New Jersey. I love her. Worsted Weight Yarn. And that's something we want to add to. So I think I want to try her DK, possibly. Yeah. So those are things that we're going to look at, see about helping some of those independent or indie dyers. Even bag makers, I think maybe sometimes they get lost. Oh, for sure. And that little bit, because they're going to yeah. be at these events. So uh, bag makers... So definitely just check it out. Keep you know an eye on your Instagram feed. See what kind of sales people are having, what they're offering. Leading Men Fiber Arts is free shipping yeah. with and purchases you know over ten dollars. If you can't afford to partake or you know purchase anything, a gift card. getting yeah or getting the word out, you know, and helping spread any of these sales that you see happening on your Instagram post or whoever wherever you you know you post to say that um, everything okay. Yeah, I got a text message. I just checked. Um, to you know, just to sh to help share um, and get the word out and get the the message out to everybody. So that was a really lot of. All That's like over a lot. Place. Yeah, it's a little uppers downers blah. But back to um, cozy up knits. The two patterns they had posted this a couple days ago is the Katie shawl and the Stitch Bliss cow. They both. Which free. one is that? That's really pretty. That's the Katie shawl. So I downloaded that and then. So here is. Let's see if I could get this to show. Mm -hmm. let's turn my screen brightness down yeah um, there it is let's see yeah there we go there Katie Shaw it's pretty and then Katie Shaw that was the other one okay so check those out and yeah great I think that's awesome like, let's let's get into some knitting let's do it I have not one FO I showed you my only FO so we're gonna skip right over FO say we're gonna go straight into whips yeah. What do you I, have? I have a hoe and a half. I have a hoe and a half? Yeah. I think we have hoe. I, I have hoes. We I have, have a hoe. Yeah, I have a hoe and a half. Here's mine. You have really big feet. I know. It looks <laughs> awful on this thing. I was thinking about it, That is like the longest too. shorty I've ever seen. Right? But it, it fits my foot. Do you, I don't know. What I don't understand is how do we I wear feel the like same... It's, how do we know. wear the same regular socks? Because I think it's different. I don't know. Anyway, this is the No Fear Shorty by um, Denise, who is the uh, Earth Tones girl. I think it's really... The yarn is gorgeous. This is... Lolo did it in her everyday sock, I believe, from the Quotable Dumbledores Club in her January 2020 club. Or a colorway. I just decided to do a single color. Like, I didn't want to do contrasting heel... Um, Sorry, heel, cuff, and toe. Because I'm still trying to learn how to to kind of construct it and put it all together. Yeah, but So that's... I thought it would be a little bit easier. And I think it looks kind of nice. With yeah. the exception of it being like extremely long. It, is it just looks a little long. bit pointed at the end. And is that so a little bit better? The pointing at the end is just when it's not pulled back all the way. Yeah. So this, because it's adjustable too, you may need to just make that a little bit longer in the foot to, to really get it. Does it fit well? Have you tried it on? It fits very well, actually. It fits me perfectly. I have a size, like, 11 and a half foot. Um, is there a negative ease? There's a little bit. Just a little bit. I did 72 stitches on a 2.25, and it actually fits really well. I think what's happening is my knitting is improving a little bit more. Um, the laddering, there's really no laddering. You can see that little seam, but, um, you know, I think it's... Obviously, you can tell like where I, where I had the beginning of the round and stuff. But I think I did a better job picking up the stitches here, and then doing the gusset. Right, this is the gusset. Yeah. And uh, I don't know what happened here. I think it's joining. You know what I'm having trouble with? When I knit in the round, I do the join where you um, like the seamless join. Add an extra stitch. Where you add the extra, cast on an extra stitch, and then you, you know, you pull it over, you pull it off the, the loop, uh, or off the, the needle, and then it's like a joint, uh, yeah, whatever. 
but I have a, I don't know how to do that with Magic Loop. I'm sure there's a video out there to do that with Magic Loop when you do the cast on. Because I think that's what's... I'm having some trouble starting off. Oh. You know? Um, once I get down here, I think I'm fine. But I think it's just... I mean, it's just, just me if I want to be a perfectionist or not. But I do love the heel flap and gusset, how it feels on my foot. Yes. It's my favorite heel so far. Yeah. I'm still... You know, it still takes me a little bit of time with the construction of it, though, because I'm still learning. But I think it, I think it's great. I like the, you know, it's purples and pinks. It's pretty. Yeah, it's, it's really Yeah, pretty. it's pretty. So I got that done, and I got... It's living in my little bag. Oh, look at that pretty bag. And I have it in... Um... I'm so almost done. I'm, well, not really. No, you made progress on that. Yeah, I definitely made progress. So I just have to... I think I'm about three or four inches now. So I have um, seven more inches to go. Six or seven more inches to go, I think. And then I'll add the toe. But uh, yeah, it's fun. You know what's definitely really fun? This is more of a vanilla sock too, so it's just it's just knit knitting. Yeah, there's vanilla no, socks are great. Stain. It's kind of a mess right now. You know what's really good, though, too, wow. speaking of the sock and your improved laddering, is that you're using the Knitter's Pride needles. You're not using I your taboos. I was very surprised. Yeah. Well, I found a trick. So, this is... So, Denise from No Fear... And you guys probably already know this. So, what I've been doing... Oh, this is a, a mess. But, when you... When you pull your, your back needle out, like you're going to go and start knitting here, you put it through, oh, let's see, you can't really see, but you put it through the front loop, um, but you kind of have to have it like this with the cord in the front, like that. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. It seems so to be working out really well for me. It's funny when I... The cord go, is a little bit annoying, but... Yeah. With my, with my chagos, I try to make my like the loop go a certain way yeah so that it's comfortable for me to continue to knit with mm -hmm. um on it so yeah maybe i'm gonna start showing my socks <clears throat> not i don't even know that your sock oh yeah see i can't see because i always Sorry. get blocked no you're fine i just didn't know if it even showed on the screen because it was so big <laughs> what you got so i have a hoe too good i had started this after the last podcast so this, I think this is beautiful. Is my vanilla latte mm -hmm. sock. This is by Virginia Rose Jeans. I want to say. I don't know that this is on here, right? No, it's a little twisted. But yes. I mean, your foot looks large there too. I don't know. Maybe that's how. It's I mean, to. it's fitting on the screen. So this is a pretty vanilla sock. Mm -hmm. It's just eight pearls on the front one. So you knit six, pearl two. Yeah. It's a free pattern. Knit six pearl two, and I did a heel flap and gusset. I love the yarn. I did a regular whatever toe. Mm -hmm. This is Plymouth. Let's get my tags. Let's get, oops. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Now I'm fine. So this is... You want me to hold your shot? Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. This is Plymouth Yarn Company. This is their Happy Feet 100 Splash. And this is Blue Oreo. Can you see that? Yeah, Blue yeah. Oreo. But it does not remind me of Oreos. No. Did I tell you what this reminds me of? Uh, like birthday cake? It reminds ice me cream? of a Carvel ice cream cake. Look at that. Oh, I think yeah, I love the colors. Well. Um, so well, look the, how good your stitches are. Where? Like you're just like nice and straight. I love the heel flap and gusset. I, you yeah. know what it is? I love a slip stitch. I love doing slip stitches. It's one of my favorite things. Mm -hmm. So I love a heel flap and gusset. The color for the heels oh, that's so pretty. and toes is, it doesn't have a name that I know of, but this is from To The Max Yarns. Yeah. This is one of Miss Jody Brown's children who started dyeing yarn. Yeah. So they have a bunch of interesting colorways. Mm -hmm. They have bright. a deal going on in their shop. I don't yes. know if they still have any yarn left over, but they had a deal going on in 15% their shop. 15% off. Yeah. And for us here in the U.S., the Canadian dollars down, so I think we could get really good prices yeah. when we purchase from there. So I feel bad saying that, but they say it. I know. So yeah, I I knit a lot of this actually at work. Yeah, it's beautiful. Where are it's, you at with the second one? 
So now I cast on the second one earlier this week. This is a great color choice. So for the uh, um, oh, you didn't do a cuff. Oh, no. I like that actually. Nope, I, I like kept, it. I just you know why? Because this is eighty grams, and yeah. I didn't know if the eighty grams was going to be enough to eighty give me... grams. I don't think it's eighty grams. What eighty yards? Eighty yeah, yards. Sorry, 20, 20 grams, eighty yards. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that it was going to be enough to do two heels, toes, and two cuffs. Right. So I figured I would be safe and do a solid mm-hmm. cuff. And then this is where I am on my Good job. second one. I don't know, maybe about four inches in. So I got about three more inches. Here's the front side oh, yeah. with the you know just little variation, which is so. I bet really it goes nice. quick, right? It does. It goes. It goes incredibly. Especially quick. in that back of the second needle. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Second needle is just vanilla. I do like a good vanilla sock. Here's the skein. I love the colors. Mm-hmm. It, honest to God, this reminds me of a Carvel ice cream cake. I see the blue frosting, the little chocolate bits on the bottom, the vanilla Mm -hmm. ice cream, and it really makes me hungry. Yeah, we're not going into that because people were ready to fight you over those cupcakes. I know. Somebody did want to fight me. They wanted to punch me, they said. Yeah. That's okay. So when when I was making the decision, it was either going to be these two blues. I was going to choose between these two Mm -hmm. or the cuff and the, not the cuff. The heel and the, the toe? Heel and the toe. This one just fit. The blue in here. Yeah, it looks great. It's so incredibly well. It does. It looks you fantastic. You would think that they were made for each other. Mm-hmm. They were made at the same time. That it was a sock kit. It's beautiful. It's such a good one. I can't wait to... Beautiful. Uh, I actually haven't even tried it on. I don't know if it fits. Maybe I'll have another pair of socks. So, here's what I did with this one, too. I... The reason I like the doing the heel flap and gusset is because you could try it on as you go. Yep. So, I would measure... As I was knitting my foot. And I did a 7 inch leg. My gusset. My heel flap gusset. 7 inch foot. Where the socks that I showed in the last episode. That are now going to be yours. I did an 8 inch. This is on my child with 2.5 millimeter. So. And I like the weight. The fabric. You really didn't try that on yet. No I haven't tried it on. I like the fabric it makes. But somebody. Um, it was John Boy. NY who had reached out to me he sent me a DM about it on Instagram and said that the reason that people like the 2.25 or not the reason people like it but the reason it's a good needle for socks is because it makes a denser stronger fabric mm-hmm. and when you're wearing something I think like that socks, the last podcast. Yeah. that you want to be no I think he sent me an after one I don't know whatever oh. so we're, if I did I'm mentioning it again That's fine. Um, so I think I need to figure out a 2.25 what I might do Mm-hmm. is I wonder if I do a 2.25 with 72 stitches, but I put those extra eight stitches all on my first needle. Why? Because, for instance, this pattern is yeah. knit six purl two. Uh-huh. So if I add an extra eight stitches to bring it to 72 and divide it evenly, I have four stitches on the front and four stitches on the back. I can't follow pattern. So if I put all eight stitches on the front, then I can stay in pattern. And those... um. The socks that I showed last time, I had said it felt a little bit tighter on the top of my foot. Okay. So maybe it gives me a little more length or These are going to feel good on your foot because it'll, yeah. be, it'll be stretchier. But maybe it gives me a little more width along the top of my foot. And then the back is normally fine. So I might try that. Oh, and my cast on. I did a different cast on for the sock. I did the German twist, long tail German twist cast on. Oh. I heard about that originally when I did Lorian's Toque from Design by Dells. Okay. And that's how I got the idea to do this. I was going to cast on another Lorian's Toque two weeks ago. Like, yeah, the Sunday after we did the last episode. I was going to cast on Lorian's Toque. I brought the yarn down. I actually cast on. I just didn't have enough tail to keep going. So I was like, eh, whatever. I'm going to do another sock. So I cast this on, and I was like, oh, let me try that as a cast on for my sock. Yeah, because it's stretchier. Yeah, but I'm going to take it off. Just so you could... Oh, no. Here. I'm not going to take it off. So just look at how stretchy this is. Yeah. Like, super stretchy, and it comes right back together. Yeah. I think it's... I think it's going to be my go-to cast-on for socks. I like it. So I watched the video from Very Pink Knits. Mm -hmm. I'll post a link to the video if anybody's interested. Okay. Because it is a really good one. I'm probably going to switch over to that cast-on for my hats and my socks now. 
Okay. I like it. It's just really nice. It makes a nice, comfortable... Oh, that'll be nice to, for a hat, I bet. Yeah, and it comes together, you know, comes back together tightly, so it stretches out and then comes back to form. So I think it's a good cast on for those two things. I believe it's going to be my go-to. It takes a little getting used to. Mm -hmm. uh, the movement is pretty similar to a regular long tail. It's just one, maybe one extra set. Okay. Yeah. So I will post a link to that. I, yeah, that'll be great. I don't have a pen. Here. I know, but this isn't blue. I, no, I don't like it. I don't like black pens. I only like blue pens. My favorite pen is the Pilot, like G2. Oh, yeah. That's my I pen. find them, they smudge a little bit. I think they're a little bit. I don't like the gel pens so much. Yeah, they will if they don't dry. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I like the G2. That's the only pen that I actually write with. Hmm. So that's my whips. Cool. Do you have another whip? I have two more Oh, whips. I have another whip too, duh. Yeah, you have got a huge whip. Yeah. I forgot um, about that. You go next. Okay. This is just, I um, refuse to have second sock syndrome. So I just the other day cast on another classic sock. This is the first one. I, God, I love the color. Yeah. That's a really deep. Isn't that's it a like beautiful an purple? I, I mean, know. it's tonal. Ugh. It reminds me of eggplant. This would be a cool lightsaber color. It sure the hell would. Wouldn't it? Oh, we just watched Rise of the yeah, maybe Skywalker, Skywalker last night. Mm -hmm. We're going to watch Onward. Onward? Yeah, onward. Today, I think. Yeah. Um, so this is the... I didn't get very far, but this is... I started. So I started it. And I'm finding... I'm finding oh. this so nice. What? This is a, the whole thing's a two-by-two two rib? Or... No. Oh. So, can you guys spot the difference? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops. So in the pattern, it calls for a one-by-one. One. For the cuff, I did, did two by two because I've been kind of, I don't know, I, I didn't look at the pattern. Um, so I'm not I, I'm not taking this out to do it again. No. I'm just going to run run with it, go with it. Um, Who's going to look at your cuffs? I don't know. Nobody. So anyway, so I cast that on. So that's that one. This is, um, like Lolo I feel did like it. we've been talking about this for like every single podcast, but this is Lolo did it. Quotable Dumbledore in her December 2019 colorway. And I love this purple. It's really, really pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have another whip? I do. Do you want to show yours? Do you want me okay. to go, or do you want to spend some time on yours? Because yours is pretty awesome. Uh, no, I can show mine. You show yours. What up? Go ahead. Go show Shatara. 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 This. <laughs> so I'm doing the uh, Sockhead Slouch Hat. By Kelly McClure. McClure. This is my second one. Um, I posted a little teaser on Instagram yesterday. I've been getting some knitting done at work, which I've never done. All of our meetings have gone... Um, virtual. Virtual. So there's only so much I can... You made a lot of progress on this. I feel like I did too. You started this last so weekend. So this... I started this... I feel like last weekend. Yeah. I think so. This is Malabrigo Machetta, which I, or Machita, which I learned is Spanish for single. And it's a single ply. And it's a single ply. So that makes so much sense. So again, John Boy in New York um, gave us a little language lesson. Lesson? Lesson. Lesson. Look at it. It is knitting up. Like, I think amazing. Isn't it so good? Yeah, it reminds me, it totally reminds oh, me no, of... Oh, no, I just pulled out... Nope, nope, nope you're, you're good. Didn't. Okay. Reminds me of Shatara. It totally Absolutely. reminds me, yep. It this reminds me Shatara. of Tiger Eye. Yep, so I don't know if I started... I might have started a project page on Ravelry about this, and I think I called it the Chitara hat. I want to... I know. I want to get... Um, once this is done, which I think I have... So I'm supposed to go up... 11 inches oh. total. Yeah, so I did four inches of the cuff, which this looks a little bit more than four inches, but it's four inches of the cuff um, or the, yeah, cuff? Brim. Brim. And then I have to do like another seven inches of the actual cap itself. Maybe that's why I've never done this hat. I mean, it's a lot, but it's 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 really mindless knitting. It's just it's just knitting. It's you're, true. Just, you're just knitting it. Yeah. Um, so like I'm, you know, this is like good for like movies or when I'm sitting in a meeting and I don't have to really 
Like, I have to pay attention to the meeting or to, like, a movie or something like that, but I don't have to really pay much attention to the knitting. So I love this. It feels incredible. And look at, the, look at the reverse. I love reverse stuff. Yeah. Now. So I was actually thinking... If I'm going to be careful with how I weave in my ends because this might be kind of cool to wear yes. like both ways. Yeah. Don't you think? Yep. So Ooh, the chair's going to fall. It okay. almost looks like snakeskin. A chair's going to fall? My chair is going to fall because I'm leaning over. Oh. Chair. The one I'm sitting on. Sorry. I'm just, I'm very excited about this. I think this is really cool. Um, so yeah. So this is my sock head hat, slouch, slouch hat in this yarn. I love this yarn. It's so good. I think it's going to be a good color on me, too. Yeah. No, I really, really like it. Mm -hmm. It does. It reminds me of Star. It reminds me, me of a tiger's eye yeah. stone. Oh, I wanted to actually put, um, if I can get a Thundercats patch and, like, put it on, like, the brim or something like that. Wouldn't that be really cool? Um, hmm. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see. I kind of mm -hmm. like it. But anyway, mm -hmm. I love this yarn. I don't know. You're pushing 40, so. Oh, my God. I'm not even 39. <laughs> I'll be 39 in August. <laughs> And that's mine. Those are my whips. All right. I have one more whip. Okay. Oh, let's see. How am I going to show this? All right. You know I'll what be. I realized? I don't have a bag for this. I need a sweater bag. So anybody have any ideas where I could buy a sweater bag from? Any Etsy shops that you um, know of who make sweater bags? Shoot a comment. Leave a comment down below so I can check them out. Oh, my gosh. I'm all tangled. All right. I just hope, I just don't... Yeah. Can I help? What is this? The bottom? No, this is a sleeve. So here's my flax. I just want to make sure that stitch marker wasn't coming off. Oh, it's good. I finished the body. Yeah, you did. And I started the sleeve. Look at my hole, though. So Somebody I know, else posted on Yes, and YouTube. I know that it's an issue. So if anybody has any tricks, I have a big hole here, which I'll go back and I'll fix when I... Um, weave in my ends yeah what i did do though to try to prevent the holes is i i did something what did i do i, don't know. I like knit two together but i don't remember how all right we'll get back to us i don't know what i did i need to know what i did because i have to do it on the other arm so whatever i did i don't know it helped on this side, though. Look. Like, it really minimized that gap. There's still a little bit of one, mm -hmm. but it's not as noticeable. It didn't work so much on the other side. Uh, and so I, I'm sure there's, like, a lot of, of flax knitters out there. So those of you who have completed this, if you can share some of your insight, it would be really helpful. And then what I'm doing, I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing it, but I'm keeping track of my rows with extra stitch markers. I kind of know now why people have a bunch on their sleeves. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing one every 10 rows so I know how, so I can make the other sleeve match. So I haven't done any decreases on this yet, but I love this. Yeah, it, it came out really nice. I also took an inch off of the body. So the body calls for from the underarm to knit 16 and a half inches and then do a one and a half inch rib yeah i tried it on and i felt for the length at 15 and a half inches i felt that that was good because i don't have a lot of ease on this at all any there's no positive ease on it so i figured with blocking and because it's a super wash super wash stretches out a bit that i'll get some positive ease yeah i don't like my sweaters i would like my sweaters kind of to fit like this shirt there's not much positive ease on it i don't like as long as my muffin top isn't <laughs> like it's sucked in on my muffin top right. i the rest i don't really care about yeah i like a little bit of room i thought I, you were gonna say you like a little bit of muffin top no i wish i no. didn't have a muffin top <laughs> but i do yeah um no i mean i didn't say that. i didn't mean like yeah <laughs> like i was just agreeing with you not that you have a muffin top <laughs> no i do have a, i mean this episode is that's what it is right a disaster don't make me Laugh. I'm I don't know, but that's a gigantic tea. mug. Can you show yeah. that off? So here's my big mug. This is my Gemini mug. It's huge. It's ridiculous. I can't read upside down, but well, they, it won't be. It won't. Be no, I know, down, but right? I can't read. I don't know what it says. Something about being adaptable. It says, "Gemini, adaptable, intellectual, curious, great company." Hmm. 
Sure That's thing. Nice. I'm a Leo, in case anybody's interested. What, uh, what else can I say about this? That's just, lovely. I can't wait till you're done yeah. so you can wear it. I haven't been able to work on the sleeves. So when I get home from work... It's Tarquin's fault. Our dog Tarquin wants to... When I get home from work, I have to eat dinner. Yeah. We feed him at the same time, obviously. Then after that, him and I do a training session. Then he gets his toothbrush. Then he wants to play. And then he wants to lay down with me. So... In my lap. So this isn't really net lap knitting right. with a dog in your lap. So I haven't touched this since last Sunday. Mm -hmm. Last week I got a lot done because I was home Thursday and Friday sick from work. And then home Saturday and Sunday still kind of sick. So we only did one running around to get our hair cut. And Thank God we did because everything's oh closed gosh. now. Holy yes. cow. You know what we need right now? And um, It was like Ryan Knits, I think that's his name, on Instagram had posted it. And I thought the same thing like a day before him. We need a flow bee. Oh, yeah. I saw that Just post. Like, that was really funny. That was really, really funny. I might have to shave all my hair off again. No, don't do that. As of the 31st. Like, no, I like the long They're closed until the 31st. That's all right. We'll survive. At least. We will survive. We're going to leave the house looking like Tom Hanks in that movie where he got stranded on the island. Yeah. That's what's going to happen. I'm going to go back to work looking like that. It's okay. I don't know. Uh, all right. So that's all of our... I think that's all the knitting and yeah, crocheting and stuff it, that we got done. I felt like for me it wasn't a lot. But then I thought, I knit a complete sock. Yeah. I started a second sock. That sweater, I think I was just to my underarms. I like think so just, too. You were you I did a very full body. Far. Right. I did 15, we'll say, I maybe had like an inch or two. Mm -hmm. So I got, did a good 15 inches on the body and a good two inches on my sleeve. And I mean, that's like 300 stitches, right? A row or something like that? I have no fracking idea yeah that's a lot 200 and something i think mm -hmm. something else i will say about the sleeve so i've never done sleeves before so what i attempted to do was knit them on a 12 inch fixed circular from chavu i don't like it i yeah, went to my i switched over to my 16 inch cord and mm -hmm. it just started moving so much better the 12 inch it's very reminiscent of knitting with a nine inch circ where i feel like i've never knit before yeah. and it's just like trying to fumble with it and I don't know. I just, I can't get into my knitting flow with it. So once I switched to the 16 inch one, it totally changed the way that I was knitting. So I like that a lot more. Yeah. So. Good. What else? So let's. Should we talk about this? Yeah. All right. That's kind of why I printed it out. Yeah. Like to talk about it. So let's talk about this. So Ray and I have been talking. We've never knit anything the same. Like the, the same, only thing that the we did was the antler toque for our nephews. Oh, true. Nephews. I forgot about that. Yeah. So. What we've thought, and I've had this in my, what's that called? Library. My library, my Ravelry yeah. library for quite a while. I wanted to knit it, and I'd seen it on Fiber Hustle when we were like binging them, some previous episodes. Aaron yeah. had knitted it. Knitted? Yeah. I don't know. So I have a question, because I hear people say knitted and knit. Like, I thought... I feel like it's the word moose, right? Because it's only moose... It's only, no it's only moose. There's no mooses. Right. So I think knit can or, be like a verb. I think it's just knit. And like past tense as well. So like when I say like I knit the antler toque, but I hear other people say like I knitted the antler toque. I'm, I mean, I'm I still learning knit. the knitting language. Well, I mean, I think this so is So like just, if I say like I, I crocheted. That's not the knitting language. I think that's just English. I don't know. I thought it was just English too. I thought I was pretty good with English. But I think I'm it's just sure. knit. I think knit I think it's better. just knit too. All right. So Ray and I have never knit the same item. Aaron mm. was on Fiber Hustle, watched a previous episode, yes. and he had knit it. So I thought I would like to knit it, and then we were talking about something that maybe we could do at the same time, and we came up with this. Yeah. So I believe we're going to both knit the Boneyard Shawl by Stephen West. Mm -hmm. It'll be my very first shawl that and I've ever knit. Knitted. Knit. Knit. Um. No. <laughs> So the reason, too, that I thought it would be good is because he's never done a shawl. Yeah. I've never done this one, so I can't really speak to it. And I get very confused. Ray likes to ask me questions, and I don't know the answers because I'm not having the pattern. So he he does this quite often. He'll yeah. ask me a question, and I have no idea what the pattern is. And, like, ask I me I think I you... ask, I just ask, like, open-ended questions. Like, hey. How do I do this? SSK. Am I slipping the stitches knit-wise, no. or am I slipping those purl-wise? And you're like, that. I don't know, I have to see the pattern. No, that I would know the answer for. 
But he asked me stuff, and I'm like, I don't know. I need to see the pattern. Like, I don't know what the designer's trying to do. So if he does this, I can't speak to it because I've never knit it. Oh, see, knit. I know. Knit. See, it, it just, it's, it's we're more just natural. Going with it we're just going to go I'm with it. I'm never knit. saying knit it again. Yeah, even if we're wrong, that's that's how we're going to do it here. I don't know, actually. What? Did I say that where my grandfather knitted all my grandmother's sweaters? Knit. No, stick we're just going to stick with knit. Right. I think it's better. We're good. Maybe we so. should call it moose. <laughs> I'm going to no. moose, I'm gonna moose no. the barnyard shell. So we're going barnyard. to do this. In, actually, this is what we were thinking to maybe buy from Brooklyn Tweed, is the DK quantity to knit this because we Whoa. don't have enough of a solid color right but to knit this or we could do striped yeah so stephen west has a modified has a modified pattern where it's called boneyard shawl 2.0 or something like that yeah that's what you're saying and it's got the stripes i was thinking because we were looking at savvy skeins has really some really nice um, colorways out there yeah like, so I thought maybe we do one solid and one of her speckled oh, I see. colorways I see. in there. Well, so like maybe the stripes will be the solid and the the body of it could be, I well, don't know. See, I don't know. Because if we were going to do stripes, I have some Cascade. Mm -hmm. I forget the how to say it, but it's their new DK. It's kind of tweedy. Okay. So I have four different skeins. So this, this says... I have a blue, a gray, a white, and yeah. a yellow. Now, this is a free pattern. So this says that we need 654 yards. Yeah. So it calls for, like, three normal skeins. This actually looks like a really Easy, simple right? pattern. There's no crazy yarn overs. No. No, just, no yarn overs, actually. Just make one left and make yeah, one right. Yeah, which I've never made. made They're super easy. Before. I I forget. Yeah. There's, a, there's, like, a saying about doing it. Okay. Something in the back. I thought that was for cabling. I use, I've i adapted it for myself uh -huh. to do it for make one right to make one ref, lefts because I always forget. So it's kind of the same thing. Make one make one left, right. You go from the back. You pick up the, the yarn in between two stitches from the back. Mm -hmm. And then you knit through the front. Make one left. You pick it up from the front and knit through the back loop. So somehow I've adapted the way that people do that cable thing. Do you have like a mnemonic or something like that? Nope, I just remember that cable thing and oh, I'm I, like waiting for you to rhyme or something. I don't so know what it is, but that's cool. whenever I get there, that's what I think of. Good. So that was that. So now, so I, I think, think that could be really fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's something. I don't know soon because I would like to finish that sock, maybe my other socks, and then I need to finish your sh clockwork. Oh yeah. I haven't touched that in a month. Do you want me to just finish it? I'm just kidding. No. No. no I once the sweater's done. I, I don't actually think I've ever even done stripes. I think before. I might try to finish the sweater this weekend. I think if I actually hunker down mm -hmm. and focus on that sleeve, I could finish that sleeve today. I think so. And then do a sleeve tomorrow. Yeah. We kind of did all the chores already, so you, we have today and yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, we just have to run out tomorrow and do some yeah. you know, other stuff. Yeah, maybe we'll divide and conquer tomorrow. Maybe. You know? I, I'm afraid of people. Me too. All right. So, all right. All right, so should we move on to that stuff? Yeah. So, so cool. Go ahead. This is fun. So we kind of have acquisitions, but then we have items that have been gifted to us. Yeah. Or don donations and gifted by some very sweet people. So we, it's totally unexpected and very much appreciated. So um, thank you very much. The first. What so is that? I. Oh, yeah. Duh. Yeah. So I bought. Um, yeah, we'll do this first. Yeah, we'll do this first. So I've been dying to try. Um, Laura from Knit for Brains, um, her sock, little sock bags. So I purchased, she had these amazing, here, this one is mine, because I've been using it quite a bit. I haven't been using mine, so I can show it. I've been using it. mine. So she had these cute, adorable Harry Potter sock bags. It's like canvas on the outside. Yeah. Um, it's nice, really good quality, I huh? It. I love it. I love this version of Harry Potter characters. Me too. The little... We have a couple of those. Well, they're like the Pops. I have the, the Pops. Yeah, the Pop Heads or whatever they're called. Um, it's a nice boxy bottom. Totally. I mean, it's it's amazing. I love this bag. It's very well made. Yeah. Um, drawstring bag. I actually... So I've been kind of moving my projects from their respective bags into this to take to work with me. 
So this is going to be like my little travel bag. So I don't have anything That's living in idea. here. Yeah. So I, I put the sock in here like a couple of days. And then yesterday I actually put the hat. So this fits like the the skein of yarn plus the sock head hat so far plus the pattern. Um, when I put the sock in here, I had the sock, the skein of yarn, the pattern, and oh, I don't have it up here, but um, Kevin showed it, I think, on his very first episode. But the acre, Ackerworks? Yeah, the Ackerworks um, with the scissors and the tape measure and all that stuff um, all fit in here. It was These are a lot bigger than they... Maybe um, I'll move mine to that when I look. take it It's really... It was great, and I threw it in my bag. You know what I love about this? I love the drawstring. Me too. For it. I think it's a really good one. Me too. Um, Very I'm not, good quality stuff. I'm not a big fan of the lace ones. Like some people use the lace, lace or the some, ribbon. Ribbon, ribbon. Yeah. I'm sorry. Some people use ribbon, and I, for me personally, I just uh -huh. don't like ribbon for it. I like this one a lot. I do too. I love it. I absolutely love it. So, um, very cute. So this is uh, knit for brains. Um, we will put a link. Etsy shop. They've got a podcast. Yes. Her and Alicia. Alicia's having a boy. Oh my gosh, I think it's a boy. I think she said it was a boy. I can't remember. Her last podcast, she said what she was having. But anyway, her daughter. Um, but cute. Um, look, I mean, the, the details. Like, can you guys see the, the little hole punch heart? Oh, yeah. Right? Cute. With, Very cute. like, little stitch markers. The owls. I'm assuming it's for, like, the Harry Potter thing. Two different owls. Right? Oh, I love it. So cute. And so... I open up the box or the the uh, the, the package and I, I kind of and dig in the color. This is like how it came. It was like in our face. Um, she sent like a handmade card to us. Um, I don't know. It's a little bit and like a nice a nice little handwritten message. Um, and included something for you guys. Yay. Right? So our very first somebody gifted the podcast a donation. This bag. I mean feel I the, love I feel know. the material. I really love the bag. I love this. Yeah, there's bag. a nice little interfacing it feels like in oh. there. So um she says I've included one of my medium um zippered bags for your podcast. Use it as a giveaway or a prize um if you do a knit along. So as if that wasn't sweet enough. Now, first, she's got the pull. I forget what they're... Yeah. Me too. But it's it's uh, removable, so you can take this off if you wanted to. Um, because it's going to be a gift, I'm trying not to like zip unzip it so much, but it's the, the zipper is super easy um, to move. The inside is... Like a, it's like so... Yeah, I don't know. It's a nice she's just, like It's every little it's thing. Made very, very well. Yep. So also included in this medium zipper bag, which is... Is a oh, really yeah, great I size. I forget about stuff sometimes. Yeah. She also included a little ne needle, little needle koozie, koozie, with the snaps that you put your needles in. Same, you know, material. Even the interior of this matches the bag perfectly. Um, with the little snaps, I could have used that for my hat. Just an FYI, if you want to send something. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm just kidding. And then inside, so I know. I'm just kidding. Um. And then also, you know, her card and another little stitch marker with a little sheep, ram, like a little ram. Is it a ram? It's a ram, right? Because don't the rams have horns? Horns? Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, ram. Dorbs. So, yeah. so nice of her. We're going to use that for, I think we're saving that for, we're really close. I think we're saving that for our thousand. I can't believe we're going to have this conversation to be giveaway. honest with you. So, um, yeah. I mean, I think we need to do something big when we do a thousand Me subscriber. Too. Hit a thousand subscribers. Oh, I don't, don't want to like scrunch this uh, up because. So I think that's today. what we're going to save that for. Once we do that, we'll see what we can kind of yeah. put together. So cool beans! Isn't that awesome? Thank you. I love it. We appreciate Laura, it. Thank you so much. Yes, that thank was you. Really, really nice. I know. So crazy. I know. It's amazing. Like literally blows my mind. He yeah. sends me a text message when I'm at work, and I'm like, "What?" That's I know. very nice. It's really, it was really, really sweet. Really sweet. I mean, the, how then, thoughtful, the handwritten, everything, yeah. everything was just. So thoughtful, so amazing, and then we have that. Yeah. Here, so you this, show this. Yeah. So this is from a viewer. This is from Laura, also mm -hmm. a different Laura though. Different Laura. So it was contacted by Laura on Ravelry, and Laura has recently started dyeing yarn. Yep. So she offered to um, 
And I checked out, you know, she let me know that she was going to do it and she asked for some feedback. So I looked at the Etsy shop and her colors are beautiful. There were yeah. two that I fell in love with. I said, you know, obviously I thought they were all beautiful, but there were two that like really spoke to me. Uh, so I just gave her feedback and she said she would love to send Ray and I some yarn. So yeah. she did. Um, and I told her, you know, pick whatever you'd like. She wanted, us to, she wanted us to make something with it. Yeah. So and she's going to send it. She sent it to us for us to make something with it. Yes. To make something mm -hmm. with um, to test it out. She, I mean, she literally just opened up the Etsy shop within the past two weeks. So the Make name her of, day and visit her shop. Yes. I think I Favorite just checked it. this morning. I think she had like four sales right now. Oh, that's awesome. When I, mm -hmm. when I went and looked at that time, so that's great. Yeah. I, I went, she had, I think at the time she had one sale. Yep. So very cool that she got two more. It is Ancestral Yarns. Yeah. So it's really cool. All of the yarn names are, right? So all of the yarns in her line are going to be named after... A family member. Mm -hmm. So this one is Oswald. And this one is Rufus. Now, the... the, I mean, we can talk her, about the yarn, but I've, her story is really cool. She's very into genealogy. Um, she's been doing a lot of research with her family tree, um, which will make sense if you look at her logo again. Yeah, the logo's awesome. Mm -hmm. And so, every you know... It, it reminds me of stained glass. Oh, it's beautiful. Doesn't it? Yeah, it's really, really beautiful. Um... So all of, yeah, so to Kevin's point, all of her colorways and the names are named after um, her ancestors, which I thought was so cool. Yeah. Um, so the yarn is in 80-20 sock. Mm -hmm. It's 80% superwash, 20 nylon, 400 yards, 110 grams, fingering weight. This is Oswald. This is gr all gray and black, like a gray tonal. I love this. Yeah, me too. This, so these are actually, she was very kind and she sent the two colors that I really liked when I checked out the Etsy shop. So we have Rufus, yep. which the name's great. I love the name Rufus. Me too. I This blue here, I love the blue. I love what she's been doing. Yeah, I, I love the tonality of it. Yeah. Ooh, look at that word, tonality. Tonality. I do. I just love the, these. And I will say, this has got to be one of the softest yarns. I, 80-20 is my favorite blend for socks. I love 80-20. I will pick an 80-20 over 75-25 any mm -hmm. day. This is super... Guys, it soft. feels so good. It looks like it's... It feels so good. A two-ply, I think. I don't know. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a two-ply. It's just... It's really soft. Yeah. It feels really, really good. I love it. Yep. I don't know. I actually was thinking... Mm -hmm. I don't know which one I'm, I'm, I want to knit with, which mm -hmm. I'm, I haven't chosen my color yet. I really thought I was going to go with Rufus, and I still may. You want But this I one? really like Oswald as I well. Like him, I like them both. So I was thinking of doing the sock head hat. Oh. With one of these. Yeah. Really cool. I think this would be a really good sock head hat. I think... I don't know. I don't know. I think so. I think I might do sock head hat. So, Laura... I'm going to do socks. Thank you again. There's are really so soft. It, everybody go check out Laura on Etsy. It's ancestralyarns.etsy.com. You can also find her on Instagram at ancestral underscore yarns. I think it's ancestral. Oh, yeah. Why do I keep saying it wrong? I don't know. Ancestral. What do I keep saying? I don't know. But maybe we need an English lesson because I feel like we're getting everything wrong. Hooked on phonics. Worked yeah. for me. Do you guys remember those commercials? Yeah. So I need Rosetta Stone. Are you telling me? I need to get Rosetta Stone English. I don't know. Ancestral. Ancestral yarns. What do I keep saying? I don't know. Ancestral? I don't Ancestral, know. Maybe. Tomato, maybe can... tomato. Doesn't matter. Ancestral yarns. I will post this in show notes. Show yeah. notes are always going to be below the video. They will also be in Ravelry. They with... may not be included the second that we upload the video because usually we kind of like work I on slack. it. I mm slack. -hmm. And I wait like a day. Yep. Um, we're working on getting that. We're working on a way for both of us to be able to contribute more to after the video is yeah. recorded. So this was so these were our donations. So thank you, Laura and Laura. Yeah, look at that. Really awesome. That was really really nice. Um, really appreciated. And then while we're on thank yous, we also want to do some thank yous to Cody Knits and mm -hmm. Kit from All Things Crochet and Knit with Kit yeah. for the shout outs during their most recent episodes. We really appreciate it. We got some viewers who came over um, and let us know that they had seen. Or heard, heard about us from there from those two podcasts. Yeah. It's yeah. really neat to hear like where people come from and how they find us. It and... still blows my mind. Me too, me too. It's ridiculous. I know, 
I know. But we're having that, so much fun yeah. doing this. We love, really love doing this. This is just... And whether then, we have 10 viewers or, you know, You know what else we viewers. have? What? Our giveaways. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot. Is that the only reason you guys tuned in? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So, I we, forgot. Unbelievably, with, I have to pee really bad, so I think that's probably why I'm like... Do you know what's really funny? What? Before we started, I was like, oh, I wonder... Like, there's some work that goes into getting ready. Obviously, you have to right. take a shower. And <laughs> I put in my contacts. Yeah, I put in my contacts. I too. shave... Because I only shave typically on either Saturdays or Sundays now. I didn't shave um, today. So I shave and, you know, we get dressed. And then I always think I need to eat because last time I was really hungry. I was like, I bet you I need to make sure I pee before we start. Yeah. I didn't want to drink too much before because I didn't want to have to go while we were doing this. So you're just going to have to hunker down and wait. I know. Well, we're, we're at an hour anyway. So that's I know. usually we're, right we're, we're at the end. Yeah, we're pretty close to ending. So I don't know. You where, guys. What were we doing? Oh. All right. So. Give away. Yeah, thank you. I think today, I don't know. There's been so much going on. Um, I think, I think we were just a little bit overexcited when to start the podcast, and like we kind of were all over the place. It felt like there was so much to say, and that's how I felt. Wait, are you apologizing for the podcast for how we've been today? Maybe. No, Have we been off today. No, I don't feel that we've been off. I this right. look. I knew going when I originally started doing this i knew that i was just gonna wing it no i'm gonna like, I, I know that's what I, I know i can't be super structured same i just want to wing it i just want to have fun so we are it's not gonna are. be proper it's not gonna be like it is what it is a su- overproduced podcast no we don't even edit this is anything. gonna no i edit i make two edits i put in the episode and that's one edit i edit once yeah i do one edit that's all that happens here okay so, um, we had two giveaways that we wanted to... Ridiculous. Yeah. We wanted to um, thank, or we wanted to do something for our 100 subscriber giveaway, which um, we had asked on Ravelry what your favorite book or movie was, um, and we were going to give a $10, uh, a pattern, gift a pattern for, through Ravelry for up to $10. 10 U.S. dollars. U.S. dollars. Yes. And so for our 100 subscriber giveaway, we actually asked... Um, oh, she's not The Echo. There. No, she, she's back there. Don't let her fool you. She's hidden. Mm-hmm. We asked Echo. Echo picked it. She did. She does random numbers, FYI. So I said we had um, 38 uh, posts in that Ravelry thread. And so I asked her to choose a number between 2 and 38 because I took my original post out. And the winner was number 20, um, Katisha61, K-A-T-I-C-I-A-61, Karen is her name, from Trenton, Ontario, Canada. And she put that her favorite movie was Never Been Kissed, which I actually love that movie. I I like Drew Barrymore. I really do like Drew Barrymore. I do. I've only seen it once. So I actually thought that we should answer these questions too. Oh, you did? No, here, right now. Okay. So we can talk about... Pee. Hold it. Hold it. Um, so let's go back to... So Karen, if you can send yes. me a message on Ravelry. Please. I will, with the name of the pattern that you'd like, we'll go ahead and we'll get that sent out to you as soon as we hear from you. So what is your favorite book? My favorite book is The Mist of Avalon by Marion Zimmer Bradley. Okay. It's an amazing book. Um, it's a, it's an epic novel for sure. It's a, it's a difficult read because they use a lot of like big words. Which so I, you need I Rosetta like Stone in you order may. to read it. Um, but it's a, it's a, it's almost like a feminist, feminism, take, feminist take on the sword and the stone with King Arthur and stuff. So it follows, it's like a, a genealogy from like Uther Pendragon to like before them and it goes all the way through, and like the main characters, even though it's like King Arthur and stuff, but the main characters are, um, you know, Morgana and and the Lady of the Lake and stuff. And I thought it was really cool. So, Miss of Avalon. There's a second one called Lady of the Lake, which I actually haven't read by her, um, but that's my ultimate favorite book. What about your movie? That's tough. Favorite I, movie. So I like. I I'm. Ugh. It's not going to be an epic thing. I, I like Mrs. Doubtfire. And That's like, your favorite movie well, ever. I don't know. I love those movies. Okay. I mean, obviously, like, Star Wars is, like, right. legit. My yeah. jam. And Harry yeah. Potter and all that stuff. I love those. But, um, but I feel like, 
I feel like Hook or Mrs. Doubtfire are one of those movies where I could just like turn on any time and I really like them. I think okay. I really, I just really like Robin Williams. I think he's, um, he was a very talented person. Gotcha. How about you? So book's tough. I'm going to go with two. Okay. So the first book is, what the hell are you reading now? Uh, the Witching Hour. Oh yeah. The, ooh, the Witching Hour by Anne Rice. Yeah. This is one of my favorite books. It's over a thousand pages. It also has a family genealogy in it. I shouldn't drink any but, more coffee if I have to drink. No, you should, really should not. But it's so good. But the genealogy in this is, it takes place in the middle of the book. Like, the beginning of the book is the present. The middle of the book goes back in time. Oops. I'm getting a FaceTime request from my um, sister-in-law. sister-in-law. So if you're watching this, this is that's the reason this why I'm not answering. Didn't answer. Sorry. We'll love an- you. We'll Happy birthday yesterday. We'll FaceTime after. Yeah. Um. But, so that one. And then my other one is A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. I I don't know. I love the book. I love the characters. I reread it every year starting September 18th to October 31st. Oh, yeah. Those are so good. It's my favorite thing to do. Yeah. I actually plan on doing it in the podcast this year. We are going to do really? a Discovery. Oh, that's great. I'm going to do A Discovery of Witches. Like read along? Read along. Oh, I love it. That follows that read along that it. I do on Facebook. Perfect. And we can get of. everybody involved. Yeah. So right. if you if, put, make like a little rivalry um, post or something. I would love if somebody, if you guys have read a discovery of witches, comment below. I have never come across another person outside of the two of us who've read it. And I've recommended it to people. Yeah. I love that. My book. friend Carrie from work read it. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah, she, she and it has it. a TV show. Right. Uh, that they did on AMC. So those are my two favorite books. My favorite awesome. movie. So if I go with something that, Obviously, Star Wars, Marvel, and Harry Potter are always there. Those Mm -hmm. I will always watch. But when it comes to mind of two movies, or like a movie that I will always watch if it's on, I'm going to go with Pretty Woman. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good choice. Yeah, either Pretty Woman or Because I Said So. Because I I Said So. I know you like that movie. I love Because I I Said So. I I love it. Mm -hmm. I love Because I Said So. I love Mandy Moore in that movie. Mm -hmm. Uh, I love What's-His-Face from Suits, because I love Suits. Yeah, I like him And he's, I mean... He's not bad to look at. True. And he's a different... And I think, too, with him, he's a different character, obviously, than Suits. So it's such a different side of him. And Diane Keaton. I mean... I know. Diane Keaton, many She's more. The, you, and we talked about this with Amanda a couple months ago. That's where the idea came from for us getting the Fiesta where plates is from. Because oh, I said yeah. so. So, yes. That's true. So that's our 100. Cool. We, all right. We're at, like, a, a minute and ten. Well, all you right, keep so, talking. But that's what kidding. we do. This is the podcast. So... That's what, that's what we do. <laughs> And then we, then, because our lives are crazy and you guys are unbelievably amazing. this is abnormal. Yeah. We then also did a 500 subscriber giveaway because we hit 500. Yeah. And that giveaway, we had asked the question, same prize, we had asked the question, um, what do you like to knit or crochet in the spring or the summertime? If you do. And so um, Echo said that the winning number out of 43 was 18, and that's um, Croucher Girl, Jennifer, Croucher Girl, C-R-O-C-H-E-R-G-I-R-L, on Ravelry. Or is it Crocheter Girl? So it's just, it's spelled C-R-O-C-H-E-R-G-I-R-L. So there's no, like, I know, I was thinking like Crochet Girl, but it might be like Crocheter Girl. I don't know. But um, Jennifer, so please, again, reach out to Kevin. And she said she usually crochets, but getting back to knitting, so she'll be knitting socks and dishcloths in the spring and summertime. It was really interesting reading those posts, too. Like, we've gone through and we've read every comment, and yeah. it was somebody else who read a it book. It was really hard for me not to reply. Yeah, to I know. Comments. Because somebody in their in the, um, hundred comments read Thief, River, Falls, and... Guys, if you haven't read that book, I read that like three books ago. Yep. I got it for free on the Kindle, and the book blew my mind. I, I'm pretty good at seeing the ending of anything. I can figure out the ending of a movie, a TV show, you are an episode. Good I'm pretty good at figuring yeah. out. This one I didn't see coming. It blew my mind to end. I know somebody was in there, and they had said that they read it. And somebody else was reading... Um, the Nora Roberts series that I just finished, Rise of Magix. Yeah. Which every, was really you guys, cool. Your comments have been absolutely amazing. We, we read really everyone, did read every, every single Every single one. comment. And we try to reply back to every single one. If It gets, not that it gets hard. Right. But we both work full time. So we do try to reply back to everybody, especially in Ravelry and on mm-hmm. YouTube. And YouTube, if we're not 
replying with words that we're going through and we're hearting every single one so that you know that we've read it, we've seen it, and we appreciate it. Every We appreciate every comment. Every comment, thumbs up, anything. Mm-hmm. It's, it's I mean, people are reaching mind. out on Instagram, which Instagram. has been really nice. Like, I, I mean, I have, I think I'm almost up to 300 followers on Instagram. I had like 700. But it's Sorry. so, it's just fun. It's fun. It's, it's super like, fun. People are we like, we didn't do this yeah. to get followers and subscribers. I think I have a that. new BFF, uh, Rebecca, if you're out there. Yeah. <laughs> I think we might we might be in a relationship. We're not exclusive though. I think her her boyfriend Jimmy doesn't know about us yet, so don't tell him. Um, oh, but gosh. yeah, you know, it's, so it's some really fun. really cool people. Um, it's um, really nice to to reach out and to have you guys reach out to us. So even yeah. if it's through like a DM or something like that, it's nice. And then what else? Oh, so we always want to to, to talk about. We're really going to try to push through this. Let's see if I get this done in five. Maybe minutes. you can talk to yourself. No, I might have so to just get up. I books we were to. reading. We said we wanted to start throwing in there. You said you're reading The Witching Hour. I'm still reading The Witching Hour. Oh crap! I don't I'm eighty percent done now. All right, I'm going to look it up. So this book is the seventh book in the series. I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. So the series is by Audrey Fay, mm-hmm. who is right, the I'm author. See, just keep talking. Oh my gosh, really? Well, I have to. Oh, slacker. So Audrey Fay. This is the Ghost Mountain book series. Audrey Fay used to go by Deborah Geary, who wrote the books that inspired me to knit. So she's changed her name, and this is a shifter series. It, I love it um, because it has... Oh, crap. It actually pulled up the book. So I, I really like the series. It's a feel-good one. It's really about community and helping each other kind of overcome hardships in life. So it always has a positive spin on it. So this one is called Bear. I want to say it's book seven, but I have no idea. Apparently, I don't know how to use my... Oh, no, it's book six. Book six. So I read that. I finished Rise of Magics by Nora Roberts, which I really enjoyed that series. I'm going to have to see if she has more like supernatural books. That's kind of like in my wheelhouse, my the genre that I really like. So I'm going to have to see. And so those are the books. And I haven't watched any TV because we've been watching podcasts. So here's some podcasts that we've watched. Um, we're going to go with what. I think it's what not. Right? What not or what? Is it what not? Watch not. So W-H-O-T. K-N-O-T. K-N-O-T. So she is a new podcaster. Oh, she? I'm good for another hour. I feel great. Absolutely not. Yeah. Five minutes. So she's another podcaster. She is from Australia. She has three episodes out. Super sweet lady. Yeah, she's an amazing knitter. She's got she an awesome story. Yeah. So f- we'll put her down in the um, the show notes. Yep, we'll add her a section of podcasts that we've been watching. Yeah. Um, and then one of you guys have suggested that we watch Cozy Up Knits, and thank you so much for that suggestion yeah, because we have been suggestion. watching. What I love about their podcast, and yeah. I hope this happens to ours, like I hope in a year or two of doing this that somebody just stumbles upon us and goes back and binges and catches up because what i love about cozy up is going back and watching jamie and sarah who jamie and sarah are the two who really started right Mm -hmm. seeing their progression of knitting like they have been knitting you know from episode one i think 10 to 15 years or some some madness like that they've been knitting for a really long time but they were kind of like we were or even I feel like up until six months ago, kind of secluded from the community. I didn't know a lot about knitting. I knit, oh, yeah. But I knit scarves and hats. I didn't right. I didn't go outside of that right. little box that I had put myself in. Mm-hmm. We I didn't have like indie dyers and things like that. So, you know, I done some shawls and stuff. So it's really cool to see their progression in knitting. And then you have, so Jamie, Sarah, and I'm going to get this right. Katie. Katie and Kri- Kristen. 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 Christy. Christy. Shoot. Katie and... Christina? Maybe. Christina. Christine. Maybe Christina. Something like that. Is that... T- but yes. So whatever. So we've been watching up... What not? Cozy Up Knits. Cat Lady <clears throat> Podcast. Happy Little Yarn. Oh, Knitters so Lee. let's... Hold on. So... I was... Okay, go ahead. No. Knitters Lee, like... And then our normal ones are Grocery Girls who... They're doing... This is really nice because of everything that's going on. They're going to be doing a weekly one just to yeah. kind of bring some joy. Obviously, Ross, um, smells like yarn. Yeah. Wow. I literally blanked. Sweet Tea No Shade had a new one come out, so we caught up on theirs. Oh, I didn't open my skein. Sorry, guys. I think they said last they, time they, they, like, they don't like when, when people, people show like this. Yeah, skein. he likes when people um, shows the, they, they show the skein. So. Not that you watch. We have oh, done, maybe you do. We've done a ton of podcasts. I haven't watched TV in almost two weeks. Yeah. But you know what? I'm not mad at that. 
No, I am, no. but I'm not. Yeah. Like, I miss my shows. You know who else shows. we watched? Who else? Um, We watched from Fiber for the People. Oh, I thought yeah. that was really interesting. That was really cool to watch her die. I can't remember her, her name. I don't know her name. But I don't Fiber know her real name. Yeah, but Fiber for the People, she she's like she did it like part of her club. Yes. You know, one of her clubs, like her process. Her po- she puts a lot of work into her podcast. She it's, sure the heck it's does. It's like produced. Ours it, is not I ever. Know. She's got work. like I know. She's got like music and nice transitions and like artsy. Unless like, we get a producer. Anybody want to produce? Just yeah. Oh. Um, Who else do we watch? Like Hammy, my knitting, the Pip and Pin, Pip and Pin. She's freaking adorable. I don't know. I don't know her name. Who's Pip and Pin? Pip and Pin. I don't know. I don't know their names, but it's only one of them. So Pip and Pin are designers. They're two sisters. They are friends with Sam from Hammy, my knitting. Okay. So they had gone to a yarn festival in Portland, and they had done a live stream from not stream a live broadcast from there. But then Pip and Pin has done a podcast since. Mm Hmm. Um, so I caught up on that one too. Um, Dramatic Knits was another one. So oh, yeah, you know our norms, all of our norms, yeah. like every every freaking one that we can think of. We I did know. some bakery bears. We threw there's in there. so many out there's there. There's so many, which is really nice. Yes, because like you. Oh, Cody Knits. We did. We watched Cody's. Yeah, we had watched all things. I was actually with Cody knitting. and I were kind of like chit chatting on uh, Instagram because he's a, a nurse bit, as well. Yeah, so it was kind of nice, like sharing kind of our stories and um, stuff. So yeah, so we're going to start linking in our show notes, like podcasts that we've been watching, you know, obviously podcasts who've done some shout outs for us, um, even on Instagram. You guys are amazing on Instagram. Like I pe- know. When people share like that little screenshot that they're watching your podcast. Isn't like, it exciting? What? No, it's like, is this real life? Like what the heck is happening? I know. Um, um, yeah, there's also um, The Knitting Annihilator, which I was watching. She's, I don't even know who that I is. I know. She's, she just, um, I don't remember. I think she just put on an episode today. Um, just to give her a shout out, I kind of like, she's going through some stuff. She's like a real life, just a real person. It's almost like, remember that movie Stella, how Stella got her groove back? Oh, that's you how know? it felt in my Not job. that she's anything like that, but it's just like her oh. process, you know, of like kind of finding, feeling like she's um, worth it again, almost, oh, good. you know, like, and, and she's a mom and um, she's got really cute kids and I don't know. I just, I like... I like the fact that there are so many podcasters and you don't necessarily need to always go to the same ones, the same ones or the ones that have like the 10,000 viewer subscribers or whatever, you know, that there's these people out there who, um, have a really cool message and, And, you know, and and they're sharing a little bit about themselves and I think to like, when I first started this, I I didn't know, one of my hesitations was I didn't know what I was going to be able to say that was different from anybody else. But I don't know that that really matters. No, like we're bringing, I mean, people have said that we've inspired them to knit hats. They haven't knit hats in 10 I years know. to try socks. So it is what it is. You yeah. find the podcast that you like and That's you right. watch them. And Absolutely. we have a lot that we like and we have a lot that we watch. Another one too is Knit All the Things, right? 72, mm-hmm. is that 72, 72 stitches? stitches? 72 Stitches on Instagram, Knit All the Things. Let me tell you, that woman bangs out some damn socks. So she's like, on a mission. I just, I, I. But, didn't know that no she bangs out some I know. freaking socks like i swear to gosh she does a pair a day well she definitely inspired our felici yarn purchase i think because she was using a lot of felici like a pair yeah. a day guys i see on instagram i'm like, i think she went i got a do... row and she just threw out a freaking yeah. sock i don't remember i thought she wanted to do 20 pairs in 2020 god bless her god but bless i can't her. remember the number but all right that's why all right oh this is gonna be our longest one let's wrap this Let's wrap this up. All right. Let, yeah, let's wrap it up. All right. So okay. I think that's everything. I think we got everybody. We mentioned everything we wanted to. We hit all our show notes. We did our giveaway, our giveaway. Oh, my um, God. And congratulations, guys. That's amazing. I yes. think pretty soon we will have another giveaway, I think. Once we hit 1,000, we're going to, I don't know, we're going to have yep. to figure something out. And we have, I thought you were going to mention this. What? Um, oh, ha- crud. Okay. So. We are going to be doing. We have. We don't have all the details yet, but we're setting up a make along. Yeah, our first one. Our first so make along. We're going to be teaming up with Amy from Happy Little Yarn and Andrea from the Cat Lady Podcast. Mm-hmm. So the three of us are going to be doing a combined make along. So it could be knitting, crocheting, sewing, paper crafts, whatever, whatever. A make along. We're not sure. We're the, th- the the four of us are in contact. So as soon as we have it, hopefully we'll have it all together by the next podcast. 
and then we'll announce it then, and we'll the, start working the on The intention, that. though, that we really want is that it's accessible to everybody. Yes. And, you know, it's not going to require you to, like, buy a specific pattern or a type of yarn right. or whatever. Just going to be fun. Yeah. And, um... More, more to come. Yeah, more to come. All right, yeah. cool. So, guys, uh, thank you very much for tuning in. I'm so sorry. This is longer than normal mm -hmm. um, and crazy, all the shenanigans. I hope you guys have a great two weeks. Stay safe. Stay inside if that's what your state or country is requiring you to do. No, stay inside regardless. Okay, stay inside regardless. Do, Listen to do him. Your, yeah, no, do, do your, your due diligence. Correct. Do your thing, whether right. or not your state shut down or not. Do yes. Your, do your part so I can do mine. So be safe. Have fun. Knit. Crochet. Yeah. Um craft have have a good time do stay thing. health stay healthy everybody thank yeah. you for watching and see we will you see you time. next time bye